Hi guys, my name is Colleen. This is Good Dog Grooming. Thank you so much for watching today. I am going to be talking about what grit number you should use on your either sandpaper or metal Dremel head because there are so many products out there and so many options and there's basically a grit scale and so it can be confusing trying to get the right product. So I'm going to help you with that today. So thanks for watching. All right guys, so I'm trying to keep this answer as simple as possible for you, although there's a little bit of detail and complexity. So let's see if I can break it down. Here is a grit scale. There are multiple that I'm familiar with. There is at the very least, most commonly, a European scale and an American standard scale where they use numbers. Lower numbers are coarser and higher numbers are finer. And at this range, I want you to know that those two scales are so similar. So we're not gonna worry about the difference. Doesn't matter because 80 in the European standard and 80 in the American standard are so similar. We're just gonna go with it. So here are the numbers. One of those scales has a P in front of some of the numbers. So if you see some sandpaper grit that says P80, doesn't matter, it's still an 80, okay? Secondly, I have drawn a rectangle around my favorite categories for use when dremeling dog's nails. So if that's all you're looking for is an easy answer, there's your answer. Any of these numbers will do you good when dremeling dog's nails, but I favor coarse for more versatile use. Medium is still good, especially if you're working with small and tiny nails and wanting something that will help you polish and finish nails. Now me personally, I like to use the coarse grit on my Dremel head and just use lighter pressure to do the finishing work. So I've noted that here as well. And I also wanna note that some small dogs have medium to large nails, such as the Dachshund and the Mini Schnauzer. Those are really good examples of dogs that have surprisingly thick nails. And so you might as well stick with your slightly coarser grit. I've even included a bit of a cheat sheet over here of, of what I consider good enough. For example, these ones here and what I consider something you should avoid. So I basically consider anything that is a grit 40 or lower, or in other words, 40 or coarser as too coarse. And I consider anything that is 180 or higher, AKA 180 or finer as also too fine. Now there's just a lot of different products out there with different grits listed in the description. So I wanted you guys to know what they mean when you see them. There are some metal drum heads that have the polishing bowl, for example. And so you may see an 80 grit drum with either a 120 or a 150 polishing bowl. And there's nothing wrong with that. Polishing bowls are fine. If you get the hang of using them, great. I've never quite liked using them, but that's just my own personal opinion and there's nothing wrong with having a polishing bowl on your Dremel head, because even if you don't like using it, you just don't use it. So as far as my own personal opinion, my favorite grit is 80, although I will say that the Dremel sandpaper heads usually come in a 60 or a 120, so I favor the 60 in that case. And a final note on the Dimer Groom, which is famously a very expensive metal Dremel head, they have kind of an interesting way to list their grit availability on each of those. And I will do further videos on the Dyma Groove now that I own one and I'm very excited because it's a great tool. I wanted to just plug them in here as far as the grit scale because they don't list grit numbers on their website and they don't have available comparable grit numbers. So I have placed them where I believe they fall on the scale. This is just my own figuring, so I did not get this from the company. They generally steer people away from the coarse because it is so coarse. <laughs> and so most people end up choosing between the medium grit and the standard grit on that Dyma Groove. And I have found in the online discussions that most pet groomers prefer the standard, and that does include me. This is my favorite one right here. But if you have a dog with smaller tiny nails or you're interested in polishing and finishing, you might consider the medium. A lot of pet owners who are not groomers online on the forums seem to prefer the medium and find the standard a little too coarse. 
Okay guys, well, I hope I covered everything. I know that was a lot of detail, but I hope that you were able to get an answer as far as what grit is best to use when dremeling your dog's nails. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll consider subscribing. Bye guys. I'm fixing it up, Mom. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome.